What's going on guys, eBay Kirk here. Today is Monday. Um, I know I don't get to show you guys too much of what I actually do Monday through Friday, the actual work that goes into running an eBay business or an eBay store. Um, obviously I'm here at the warehouse. It's uh, pretty much another day in the office. Um, a deal just came up from one of my suppliers where um, I'm gonna get some electronics items that uh, pretty good sellers online. Um, a lot of deals come up, but it just depends on if I like the item, if I'm confident I can sell the item fast and uh, get my return back. So this is a pretty good deal. We're gonna go check out the item and uh, I probably won't be able to show the actual item, but we're gonna get a pretty large quantity. I think there's about 100 units. So I think Katie's gonna come along. She's in the back, but um, she's gonna film and hopefully we can give you guys a little bit more insight of what I actually do Monday through Friday besides garage selling, besides estate sales, besides looking through junk and trying to flip some, uh, some stuff online. So this gives you a little bit more time. Obviously it's, uh, it's not all fun. It's not all, you know, whatever we show on the weekends, but hopefully this gives you guys a better look at what actually goes on behind the scenes. We just packed up the items right here. Some of them are going out. We still got more to do, but this deal came up. I want to get it done. And uh, so we're going to head out right now and um, yeah, hopefully we can get some good stuff for you guys make a good video. I haven't done a video in a while, so been super busy, but hopefully we can get this done and it'll turn out good. Can you hurry up? <laughs> Jeez. This is why you can't take her anywhere. She takes like so long to get her stuff. She forgets her phone, she forgets her wallet. Women. We kind of just threw everything in. I knew it would fit, so I was like not even worried about packing it tight. Just kind of like <laughs> threw it in. I know. I was like trying to get organized, and then I was like, yeah, it'll fit. It's fine. <laughs> just get it deal. over with. Excited about that deal. Okay, yeah, guys. So, no garage sales, state sales, quarter houses. It's just boring work. <laughs> Okay, so that just took me about 30 minutes to sort these items. We have three different models. Show the front. We have 29 of the bigger models and 29 of the medium, 33 of the smaller ones. Um, I got about 91 total. There's a couple that are new open box, so about 93 or something, but I paid $1.65 per unit and um, should try, I'm going to try to sell them for about $30 to $40 um, each so this item is a little weird so three to five years ago this item came out and in the electronics world that's like pretty old that's pretty dated so this item is not that desirable and the brand actually has updated all their items and they're moving really quick on like amazon because it's a high quality item but these items are a little bit on the slow moving side and I planned for that I only paid a dollar 65 a piece so I understand they're going to be sitting for a while but really low investment and they should start trickling out in the next three, actually probably about two weeks. I plan on selling like one or two per week, maybe, or two weeks. So, um, and they're gonna be like the 30 to $40 range, which is perfect when they start selling. And um, I don't have to sell that many to get my return, obviously, so that's a good thing. And um, yeah, I put, plan on selling at least one per two weeks. So 30 to $40 range, it'll be good margin and yeah, hopefully they'll start slowly trickling out and should be able to move them in the next few months. So really don't mess a lot with stuff like this that I know is gonna sit, but this type of deal, I couldn't really pass up. I have to finish listing these scarves. These are like a bunch of designer scarves. Um, I've been procrastinating on these for like, probably like a week now. 
but I'll get them. New setup here, so that's cool. Usually light packing on the floor. A lot of people are like, Kirk, why do you always pack on the ground? You're always bending over. You're going to hurt your back. Oh my God, I'm so concerned about you. But um, the items like this, that are like this receiver, I actually really like to pack on the ground just because I can see inside of it. If it's up on this table or this table, I really can't see inside of it and I can't see the edges of what I'm packing. So I'm really, I don't know, I guess particular on how I pack different items, smaller items, obviously I'll throw them up there, but yeah, I just figured I'd say that because I know someone's gonna say it. So yeah, that's why I pack on the floor. And I don't mind, I got a strong back, a real strong back. This is what happens when Phil shows up, tries to get a free meal. <laughs> Phil. Eating good though. We get a lot of company over here. What's up guys, eBay Kirk here. Is that cool? Mm-hmm. You click. Good. So this topic has been bothering me for a while now and it wasn't until I watched a video um, with Ryan Roots that he posted on YouTube um, this morning and um, I really was like kind of on the fence about sharing this on YouTube. Um, it's just a little negative and I, I, YouTube's negative enough, right? So I really didn't want to have to bring this online and kind of talk about eBay in a negative light, but I feel like it kind of has to be said and I mean, I feel like I'm a really big advocate for eBay. I've always said positive things about selling on their platform and all that good stuff, and they've helped me a lot in my business. So I've really been a big advocate for eBay, if, you, if advocate's the right word, but um, I feel like they kind of been screwing me over, um, not only just last week, but for the past year or so. And uh, I'm gonna explain a few stories of why um, eBay doesn't really care about his their sellers and um, why they don't care about me um, as an individual selling on their platform and doing a good job so um, there's obviously other sellers Ryan Roots and Ali Roots that sell on eBay and I'm sure they you know take their business very seriously obviously Craigslist Hunter and all those people take this business very seriously because it is a huge part of their financial stability so as is mine so if you get sellers like us, and I'm sure there's a million out there, sorry if I didn't name any names, but uh, if you get sellers like us that calling eBay and asking for help and saying we're getting scammed, um, this is wrong, this is whatever incident there is, that um, it's probably not bullshit. It's probably we're having problems doing it because at this point in our career selling on eBay, we have no reason to try to scam someone or try to make a quick buck um, doing something shady. It's just there's no use anytime we're in a dispute with a buyer all we risk is our feedback so if you think about it in that for instance um, all we're risking um, trying to argue back and saying no this isn't right is our feedback because at the end of the day I truly believe eBay only cares about customers and it doesn't care about eBay sellers like myself and other sellers that are having this issue and they've had this issue for a long time and the only thing I have to say about it is eBay needs to get better. There's just, there's, there's so much, um, there's so many rules and stuff that they have to go by and every, every, if you work for, they work for eBay, they have to follow certain guidelines. But I feel like a lot of the guidelines don't work. They just don't work. Um, 
And I'm gonna go back to my story that happened last week. Um, sold an item to a buyer. Um, the buyer said something doesn't work, a gauge doesn't work, and it's, uh, it's broken. And I said, okay, probably happened during shipping, but this was a brand new item, so I stated no returns on the listing. And, um, but I accepted it anyways for the sake of customer service. Buyer shipped it back, I got it back. I realized, huh, this is not the same item as I shipped two days before. It had a completely different model number and it was broken and it just looked different. It looked more beat up than the one I sent. And on top of that, it had a different item number. Like clearly in the pictures, my item number and the one I took and sent to eBay. At the end of this conversation of me yelling and screaming at eBay saying, what else do you need me to prove that this is not my item I sent? And all they had to say was, all they said was, message the buyer and see if they'll return yours. Well, obviously if someone's trying to scam you, they're not gonna say, oh my bad, I was trying to scam you, but I'll send back yours. That's not gonna happen. The buyer obviously said, that's the one you sent me, and the case was closed. Full refund to the buyer, I had to pay for return shipping, I have the defected or you know whatever ding on my account from the transaction because um, the buyer returned it as defective. So it doesn't really make any sense. Moving on to this morning, um, I shipped an item off a few days ago, it was just a bracelet, it was about five ounces for two, a buyer bought two, different listing, so different size and color, put them in the same poly mailer, shipped them off. Um, a couple days later, the buyer said, I didn't receive one. Um, sometimes eBay will group an item for me if it's the same buyer and sometimes they won't. If they don't, I just check um, sent or I just check um, um, shipped, whatever. You just you know click the tab and don't upload a shipping label because it's already on one of the items they purchased. So I sent them both together under one shipping label, two items. Well, the buyer opens up a request for the item that I didn't sh uh, put a ship tracking label on because it was already in one and they said they didn't receive the item. And I'm like, oh, come on, come on. I shipped them both together, so I messaged the buyer, said, look, they're both in the same bag. I shipped them under one. So they file a request to eBay saying item not received. Obviously, pretty good scam, and um, eBay sent me a message last night and said, all right, we've came to the conclusion that um, the buyer did not receive their item, and they didn't take it out of my money and they didn't take it out of um, the transaction. They just refunded the buyer $25 for this bracelet. And they said it doesn't affect my account, doesn't affect anything on my um, during the transaction and the buyer gets their money back. And I'm just thinking, I'm not upset, but wow, wow. If you look at my account and you look at my history, what would make you believe that I wouldn't send this buyer the, the, the items they purchased. Like what would lead you to believe that you would need to step in and even side with the buyer and give them their money back for an item they received? It just doesn't make any sense and um, I just think eBay needs to do better. I don't think anybody that works for eBay, I don't know if you're calling in Thailand or Korea, but I don't think they're even looking at the screen as a human being. I, I honestly think they're just looking from a book and they're saying, okay, in this situation, we have to do this. In this situation, we have to do this. And that's wrong because every situation is different. And um, to some of this video, I'm not gonna be crying the whole time, but um, I just want to put this pressure on eBay to recognize that the sellers that have been selling for years, we're not on eBay to scam anybody. We're not on eBay to do anything shady. We're just trying to make money and do it the right way. And um, you can just tell by our accounts. So um, eBay has to do better, and this kind of goes out to some of the newer sellers or people thinking about selling on eBay, that you're gonna get this problem. It's only gonna get worse. You know, you're gonna sell an item, they're gonna ship you back a box of rocks and say, that's what you sent me, and eBay's gonna go, oh, sorry seller, the buyer says that's what you sent him. So I just kind of want everybody to almost be ready for it. Um, because it is a huge problem selling online. And it's kind of reason I'm really frustrated with eBay. And for that reason, I was gonna go to the eBay Open in Vegas and uh, kind of hang out with uh, some of the you know, subscribers and stuff and, and uh, have some fun. But I just don't think I'm gonna go 
and uh, I don't want to I don't want to pay eBay for you know the non support they've given me over the past year and a half of really frustrating transactions that are completely just one sided. So that's the reason I won't be going to the eBay Open. I'm not giving them any more of my money. I pay a lot of money each month to sell online, and um, yeah, I'm just frustrated with them. But you know, life goes on. We you know still selling, so accounts still good, but. It's just frustrating. You get some transactions like that, and and um, it kind of brings you back to wow, what is going on? You know, even when you think you're doing everything right, there's still you know people out there that don't want you to win. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it for this video. Kind of boring day. Um, a lot of listing, a lot of packing, shipping, and doing all that boring stuff. But hopefully, we'll get some more uh, picking videos and find some cool stuff for you guys. So. Thank you guys for watching, and I promise next video will be a little bit more positive. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys next time.